Here is a very quick uh, comparison before user experience improvement and after. So this is how it was looked before the improvement. So as you see, this is a product listing page. And so if we go to uh, the new improvement or user experience improvement, so that which is this one here. So as you see, there is a much uh, difference be if between before and after the user experience improvement. So as you see that previously the image on the cards and the product card wasn't uh, fit properly. And also, as you see, we previously were not dis uh, displaying the description for that product, but now we display the description and also the background for the body, all the content uh, that previously it was this dark uh, blue and that now changes to be uh, white. And also previously we were showing this uh, styling for the category uh, title and now we just uh, display this very simple uh, title here and look much cleaner, uh, easy to read, easy to understand. Uh, next, for example, we can compare a product, uh, for example, a product details page. Let's just choose this one, this dress here. So this is how it was looked before, for, before the user experience improvement. And here, if we try to go and just select this one here, so this is how it's look uh, after, and we can select a different color. And also we can select a different uh, different numbers or items. And if we try to compare this with the before or previous before the user experience improvement, so how this it was look like before and after for a product a single view or for products listing. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Duena Tech uh, channel. Uh, as you saw, this is a very quick demo for the comparison before uh, user experience improvement and after. And so this tutorial part of a series of tutorial for building an e-commerce app using Strapi.io uh, 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 CMS. And uh, if you didn't watch the previous tutorial for this series, I would recommend go uh, back and try watch previous tutorial and then just follow us in this tutorial so you will understand better what we are talking about today. So let's just go directly and start showing you how we uh, can actually improve this uh, code and make it look like uh, this one here. So which much better and much cleaner for user experience. So this is the code here. We are going to start first by the uh, index.css file here. We are going to do some improvement here. And instead of this uh, white color uh, or gray light color, so we are going to just use this dark color here. And also we are going to remove this background. We are not going to use this background anymore. Uh, let's just scroll down here. We have uh, more background so here we can remove this one this linear background so we have this linear remove this one here and uh, also remove this linear background so here by uh, this background here background uh, color transparent just remove this one too just let's do a quick search for color and this card so let's also remove this one and save it and now if we go here to the browser so this is how the page look like so just removing the color for the body and for the text uh, let's just go back again here and we need to update the category title so if you see this title here so we need to update this and, and this class here and we need to just remove all this just leave this margin and save it so now this is the title next we need just to update the card for this uh, product after card product we need to add these two classes after this here let's add these two classes and so we are going to add this class called image wrapper and then inside the image wrapper we'll pass the card uh, detail or the card a uh, product card image so now we need to go to there so the product inside home if you come here this is the product and this product has this image we need to add a, a div here and uh, this div 
uh, then should wrap the this image and then this div should has a class or a class name uh, this class name should be called uh, image wrapper and now if we save this and try go to the browser so that now is improving the image uh, size and next we need to add these classes to for the description just after category title let's add these two classes here and this class just to to add to apply these ellipse so this will allow to elapse so it will allow three li line for the paragraph then after the third line then we'll elapse the text and we'll show you just this the different after displaying the description and also we'll uh, change the color to use this color here to make it just a bit uh, light uh, gray and now if we save it and go to the browser nothing is happening because we didn't display the description yet so if we come here we need to add the description just after this uh, car title just duplicate this and instead of name to be description and instead of car title this should be car text and this car text and save it go to the browser now we see the text and this is the color that we just uh, mentioned earlier and also as you see that is a lapse after the third line and now if we go back again for example change this three to to two for example so we'll elapse after two lines you see that's after two lines will allow only first two lines then we'll elapse the rest so just let's undo this and that is three now and uh, so next we need to as you see that now showing this uh, underline uh, styling which doesn't look nice we need to remove this also so how we can do that we need to go to product here and as you see here in product we use anchor tag uh, component or link component and instead of this we are going to use the navigate uh, custom hook or navigate hook so just let's uh, before remove this we need to create a variable here call it navigate and then this will use use na navigate or na use navigation and use navigation will be imported automatically here from react react router dom and then let's create a function for when we click inside in one of this products so to be called and uh, this function just call it uh, navigation to product view or navigate to product view and this function will expect a URL parameter and inside here just call navigate and then pass that URL and we need to call this function when click on uh, any one of the these products so let's just uh, add that to for example this column here so in this column let's add on click handler or on click event and inside here then we'll call this function and then it will pass the url the function sorry the function call navigate to product view and then we'll pass this here and then just pass it here instead uh, let's just remove this link uh, component and if we save it go to the browser and uh, seems there is an error uh, yeah I think instead of navigation so this should be just uh, call navigate and if we save that or use navigate and then so that's now as you see the underline disappeared but now we're still able to navigate to this single product view and uh, now if you go back so we improve this one if you see that before on the after improvement we display four cards instead of three so let's just try first go to do that which you can do it here on home page uh, with the grid so here we use this four instead of four let's use three and uh, save it so that simple it so that now displaying four uh, item uh, inside one row so this next uh, so we're improving this is the home page so basically this look like the one that after the improvement and uh, next we need to improve see after if you see this page this uh, single product uh, view page so we don't need this card anymore and also 
we need to display the width of this content should be uh, just less than this one and then it should take wider uh, space so let's go back to the code here and then again inside this index css let's just scroll to the bottom of this page and um, before that also i remember if you see here if you come to listing page product listing page so this uh, card background color should be look like same as this uh, navbar background color let's just try quickly do that if we come here to this uh, css uh, let's search for the product card and the product card just here let's add this background so which is this color and if we save it go back and now this background this car card background looks same as this one and also before i uh, go to do the single product page if you see in the improvement this navbar was taking the full width uh, of this screen and the text is uh, uh, centered on the same as this content width so let's see how we can do that if we come back again here to app component or to this custom nav component here and let's try add a container container props just that it so let's save it and let's go and reload and so it still that's not taking the full width so container is going to be called fluid and save it and go back to the browser and now if we reload still we have something we need to fix first so we need to go to app component here so where we render the this uh, navbar so this navbar should be outside this container uh, let's just create a div wrapper so we can wrap all the content with this div and now if we hit this enter let's just remove this closing tag just after this container here uh, move this custom nav component to outside this container save and now if you go back reload if you see that now the content is uh, the navbar is taking the full width but this uh, title and log uh, login button are not actually in same the width of this content let's try fix this one uh, if you go back again to the custom nav here let's add the container and remove just this fluid so fluid basically it will take the full width just the container uh, which is by default is true and if we go back again and add that is fix it so now, now the navbar is taking the full width and the text inside the navbar uh, is centered on the screen <laughs>
leave any comment if you have down of this uh, tutorial thank you for watching and see you in the very next tutorial